Hey, what's up everyone, Game Dad here. Now, today's video is actually a throwback to one that I did several years ago, where I did a full restoration of the Simpsons arcade machine. Now, there were some issues with that video, so I decided that I would just re-upload it for everyone and show you all the process that I went through to restore this four-player Simpsons arcade machine from start to finish. So let's go ahead and dive in and show you the entire process. Oh, I got another new pickup. Let's see, what is it? The Simpsons Arcade. That's right. Definitely dirty. Needs some love. Wiring inside is less than stellar. Control panel needs a whole new vinyl on it. But it works. And that's the important thing. Just gotta clean it up and make it look pretty again. Oh, let's get this thing unloaded. Let's see the old gal turn on. Here we go. There's the marquee. There's the ram check. Get a little sound going. Very nice. Sounds like it's only coming out of one speaker. Yeah, so we got to repair that speaker. Glass definitely has to be cleaned. The screen is in amazing shape, though. I may clean up that marquee. Definitely got a lot of vinyl work to do. Very nice. This is going to be a fun one. So, there is that arcade machine. I've got the coin doors all taken out. Those need to be cleaned up and repainted. Got the wiring harnesses all taken apart. That's just some junk at the bottom of it that needs to get thrown away, but I've completely stripped the cabinet down except for a fluorescent light and the two speakers up there. So just gotta keep ripping this apart and I already have the new vinyls on the way to redo the sides, building up this new control box since that was missing for the panel right there, which obviously needs to be cleaned thoroughly. And we also got a new marquee on the way. So, fun little process, but the board is super clean, looks great. And in a few weeks, this is going to look awesome. So here we got the control panel before it gets its sanding. So we are going to clean this up and get it good to go. Got everything all cleaned off of there. Definitely a few spots where I'm gonna have to patch like right here. And up here that way it'll sit flush but at least it's cleaned up and prepped that way now i can go through do a little wood filler sand that down and this will be ready for its new artwork all right all the rust has been removed off of joysticks now we can go ahead and get all the gunk off of the ball toppers then those will be done and then i am moving on to these rusty coin doors, I already got the new paint for them. Just gotta get all the rust and everything cleaned off of them. Alright, so there is a whole pile of what looks like trash. And that is because I have been pulling off all of the old side art. See down there, still going. I'm just using the uh, heat gun, heat up the glue, and then pull it little by little. Alright, got the initial layer of the wood filler all sanded off and got the vinyls off of both sides. No more artwork. And then I had to repatch a couple of areas, so waiting on that to dry, then I'll get it sanded down and this is it ready to repaint. Also went through and made sure everything was reconnected. I do have a little bit of rewiring that I gotta do to get the controls to work properly again, but Right there, got the joystick pieces taken apart. I only had like four good switches out of the 16, so ordered some new ones there. But got it all wired up just on the floor and everything, but still that one speaker isn't working. So as I rewire and actually label everything, I will get those rewired so the speakers work. All right, got the door back on. I think I'm gonna take it back off again though, because that one hinge right there Kind of giving me issues. It's a little bent, so I'm gonna get that bent back and then 
got that all painted, looking good. And the extra parts for the joysticks came in. So got the new dust covers, got the new switches here, these leaf switches, brand new. Got a new E-clip, new little bushing. There's a new spring in there. And I also replaced the old bushings with new ones because these were kind of cracking and splitting and stuff. You can see the old parts in there as well, but these have been totally refurbished. They are good to go. And as soon as I get the vinyl art in, I can complete the control panel and it goes back in there. All right, so I fixed the wiring harness, presumably. Got it all temporarily wired up, as you can see here. Fixed all the pins, replaced all the broken grounding pins. And let's see if it still turns on. speakers. I heard the CRT. There goes the memory check. Should get some tuning here in a second. There's the tunes. Let me hit the coin trigger. Mm, coin trigger, no working. Oh, there we go. So, Homer, blue. Let's see here. Yeah! Alright, let's take a look-see. Plan. Let's see if Homer moves. Up, down, back, forward. Where it says attack. Jump. Oh, yeah. Kind of hard to see. Let's zoom in on that a little bit. There we go. I'm getting my butt kicked. Hard to play this game one-handed. And the jump. I don't have any coin stuff set up for any of the other players right now, but this one is connected the exact same way. So, awesome. The test is a success. Just gotta wait for all of the art. And I can put this thing back together. Awesome. All right, so I didn't wanna wait for the new coin boxes or for the new art to get all of this back in. So, as you can see, Got everything wired in, all harnesses are all zip tied, and even though it looks messy sitting in there, it is actually nice and organized. Got everything back in its box. Everything is all connected, with the exception of that guy right there. And that is because right now, there should actually be a whole box that comes out right here. And that's what the control panel sits on because it's flush up against this. Unfortunately, that box did not come with this. It had broken prior to me getting it. So I actually had new pieces cut for it. I've got to put the box together, get it all bolted in, and then that will have a place to sit on here. And then really all that's left is just cosmetic stuff. Can't wait to get that new side art. It's gonna go with the yellow T molding on there. The new marquee will be up there. And haven't decided yet, but eventually in the future, I may convert that to a bigger LCD. All right, so a buddy of mine cut out some new pieces of the MDF, and here is a dry fit, what it looks like with the new control panel box that will get mounted right up into that area. I have the back of it off right now. You can kind of see down underneath. Everything is just kind of loosely sitting there. It's not screwed together or anything yet. And there will be a hinge that way this whole piece lifts up and off but yeah dry fit the box fits perfectly just gotta get it assembled painted and then right in this area right here i gotta do a cutout on the back and a little cutout down in the center that way there is easier access for the wires to go through awesome all right so we have the new control panel box all put together just finished sanding it down getting it prepped ready had to cut out this hole to make sure there was room for the wiring harness to come through but this is ready to go i did a dry fit of it earlier nice and solid it's just kind of sitting there right now but this is ready to paint it's gonna get the same black treatment that everything else got and I got the shipment notification today that the artwork will be here in about a week. So 
once all of that gets here, I will be able to finish an assembly and finish putting this guy back together. Awesome. Now that the sticker is on, it is time to cut the excess. So. All the side art, and the marquee, and the other side. Now to just throw this guy in. Alright, he still needs a few more parts. You need the hinge and stuff, but full panel box installed, side art installed. Let's go ahead and uh, turn this guy in. Nice, look at that lit up marquee. Coin doors installed. Everything all wired up. All the lights are working. As you can see, I can trip these. assemblies installed working awesome and this is actually my first machine ever where I actually have brand new coin boxes awesome and here it is the completed machine perfect nice coin boxes all that yellow T molding got that marquee all nice and lit up go ahead and check out the side art on there all nice and tucked away in its new home in the man cave here. Pretty proud of this restoration. This, is a, this one needed a lot of love, and I was able to do it in a pretty quick amount of time. It only took about three weeks to get this one done. But there you have it. Simpsons fully restored.
And there you have it, everyone. That's how you take a four player Simpsons arcade machine that was totally busted and broken and restore it into something new and totally usable again. Now, I know the screen is a little bit smaller than what actually came with the machine, but honestly, that's what came with this machine. And eventually I might do just something like an LCD upgrade or something like that, because over time, this screen has just gotten worse and worse. This video was actually recorded a few years ago and moving across the country and everything kind of took its toll on that CRT. It still works, but it would probably look a lot better with an upgrade. So that may be a future video. But if you all like this video, then let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, please sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, as well as that little notification bell. That way you can alert every time I got a new video coming out. And if you want to see another recent video, then go ahead and check out this area right here. And as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you later.